What's up, ghouls? It's Batty Jade, and uh, we're here to do some crafts. Uh, I've already had a heck of a day. Uh, I just fixed my mic because it decided to break off the table right as I wanted to start recording. So um, I'm I'm having a time, but um, you don't need to join in. Yeah, um, we're here. Because we want to make some fancy shoes. So, um, I've already gone ahead and, uh, prepped these. Um, these are shoes that I've already tried to paint before. And, uh, I did not, I did not do it properly. And, uh, they got, they got ruined. So, um, I've got some Angelus, uh, paints. That are supposed to be uh, the real deal, the proper, the proper uh, equipment and paints and uh, glazes and all that for shoe, uh, shoe customizations. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and test all of that out, give them the old college try, and uh, see how they do. Um, so. I've already run into <laughs> some issues with them. Um, I already had some shipping. Uh, we'll call them issues with them. It was stupid. And so uh, I already kind of have a negative view of this company already before even trying their stuff. So we'll see how this goes. And then last night, um, so you can kind of see on these shoes... Um, that's kind of the stain from where I had already painted the design on there. And so, um, since I'm going to be repainting properly, I had to take off the old paint and prep it. Um, and so I thought, well, I'll just take off the old paint with acetone, since that's what you use to take off paint. And I've also heard that you can basically prep the shoes with acetone anyway. So I was like, hey, two birds with one stone. And then I was like, well, after I get that all done with, then I'll try their, um, what they call professioner, <laughs> professioner, <laughs> professional leather prepper and deglazer. So I spent a long time last night with some paper towels and my 100%, um, <laughs> acetone from uh i believe i got this at walmart for like a buck and some change nice big uh six fluid ounce bottle pretty cheap and uh spent a lot of time and a lot of the acetone getting my paint and prepping the shoes and i was like okay so now i'll take just a little bit from their bottle um and prep the shoes with their specific stuff and, uh, so I got out the bottle, and I just happened to notice, um, the color and consistency happened to look, um, an awful lot like acetone. And I was like, hmm, hmm, you know what? I wonder... If it also, perchance, smells like acetone. And wouldn't you know it, as soon as I opened the bottle, that acetone smell hit me right in the face. And I was like, you know what? I think I just got swindled. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is just acetone. I could be wrong. Maybe they do something super fancy to it. Or maybe they don't do anything to it at all, and it is exactly acetone in a fancy little bottle <laughs> that they sell to you for, I think, almost $5 in a little five-ounce bottle. Sure is cute, but I'm pretty sure it's just acetone. And, yeah, it's got the same warnings as acetone warning, highly flammable... Um, harmful or fatal, harmful or fatal if swallowed.
but they don't actually call it acetone anywhere on there because I'm pretty sure if they did, then guess what? Everybody would just buy acetone because it's way cheaper. So, um, I'm a little bit pissed. I'm a little bit pissed that I got swindled and I, I bought acetone. I bought really expensive acetone. So, um, I won't be buying any more. That's for sure. Cause, um, when I did prep these with the acetone, um, there is like a, a very shiny, uh, part of the boot. And I could tell when I took off the part with the paint with the acetone, it did take off that shiny glaze on there. So it did exactly do what, um, it was supposed to prep and deglaze it, which is exactly what the bottle says. So, um, just use acetone because it, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's exactly what's in the bottle, and it does the job anyway. I, I, I checked for you. I used the acetone, and it did, it did do that. So now these are all prepped, and I'm, I want to make these cuter. So I'm going to be uh, painting uh, little albino bats on the front, and a couple of other little things, and I'm going to be testing out. The rest of the Angelus products that I bought, and hopefully their paints and their glazes are a little bit better than the, the first product that I bought. So let's get to that. Okay, so I just started by uh, painting a cute little bat face on the shoe, and um, I just kind of outlined it first, and then uh, drew the ears and kind of outline the eyes and where I wanted the nose to be and kind of just kind of guessed on the mouth and then I filled everything in with the white and um <laughs> I had to do so many layers <laughs> so so many layers um I lost track of how many layers I had to do with the white and um, you can't even do the layers thick. Like the, the paint company tells you not to do thick layers of their paint because it can make it, I guess, um, unstable or just prone to chipping. And the, the white paint is so, so thin and so translucent it was just a real pain in the butt to work with so um it really sucked and um no matter how many layers i did um all the paint strokes really showed through um no matter what paintbrush i used the really just all the paint brush strokes uh showed through and i could never get like a really even a layer of paint to just get a solid uh, color so it just really looks like fur and I wasn't trying to do that so I was a little upset but I guess it was fine in the end um, as I moved on to the other uh, face on the left shoe um, I had a little bit more trouble the right one I feel like was way cuter the left one uh, was kind of the second child that just really gets into trouble and just for some reason just you don't know what's going on with them um but I, I tried repainting it a little bit uh, I was able to get uh, some of the worst bits off with some water and repaint it um, but in the end it turned out okay so I'm not mad at it after I drew the faces, I just drew the wings spread out on either side of the shoe. Uh, they weren't too hard. Um, just getting them kind of even on either side was the only challenging part, but they looked pretty cool when they were done. And I think they really add to the shoe. They look really nice on either side. So after I did the white part of the wing, I did the black part on the bottom. I just thought it was some nice detail and uh, I wanted the inner part of the wing to be pink um, and I wanted just to use that as the negative space as the 
um, the natural color that the shoe already was when I got it. Um, I thought it would just be a waste to um, paint that with paint when that's the color that the shoe already was. So I figured I would just leave that unpainted. And I also did that uh, with the ear. Um, I just thought it was a good idea and uh, saved me on paint. So I just went in with black paint on the bottom and put in those bat wing details and put in a couple of lines in the pink area for some more details. And then the wing was done after a couple of more layers of white paint on the top, of course. Okay, now I'm moving on to some details and I'm going in and I'm painting in the eye color. And it's an albino bat, so you know I'm making the eyes red. Um, it's a lot of pink, so I don't want the eyes to be pink too. I want those cute little darling little vampire red eyes. And uh, that's, that's what I did. So I went in just with the base red eyes first and I played around. I did do some darker red a little bit later uh, around the eyes, but then I kind of filled it in later too because it was looking kind of wonky. So it's, it's mostly just red, red. Um, but that's what I'm doing here is I'm just filling in um, with that bright red eye because it just looks so cute. Okay, now I'm painting in the cute little pink bat nose and its little tongue because, you know, I got him going bleh. So, I'm just painting that in real quick with my pink paint because uh, I didn't leave it enough room with all the many layers of white I had to do. So, I'm just giving that a quick little coat of pink paint. And, you know, I'm making his nose a little bit bigger and his tongue a little bit bigger. Now one of the funnest parts, and also one of the hardest parts, I'm putting in all the little black details and I'm outlining everything. I'm outlining the eyes, the nose, the tongue. I'm putting in the little fangs on the side of the tongue. I'm putting um, the little lines on the inside of the ears. Um, all the little details, I'm outlining the wings. I'm outlining all this little fur. Um, all of it, all of <laughs> the line work details in black, um, all of it. And this took me a while and I learned how unsteady my hands have grown in, <laughs> in my age. <laughs> it was loads of fun. For this added little detail, um, I just wanted to put, um, some cute little hearts here on the heel. Um, it was just a detail I did before uh, when I first designed these shoes and I just thought it was really cute and I loved how it matched um, the bright red eyes on the bats. And so I just did these here again. Um, I just kind of outlined the little hearts and then just filled them in with the bright red paint. And I really liked um, how they turned out. I just think they're super cute. Um, I didn't do them. <laughs> super clean or super well, but they did turn out looking pretty cute. And our final detail, um, putting the shine on the eyes, just that final little touch that just makes these just over the top, uber adorable. Um, it just makes them look just that little bit like, um, chibi eyes just that super duper cute um i love it uh i just added a little bit of shine right on top um just with a little bit more of that white paint and uh they just look so cute i just i love them they're just they're so cute i can't get over it. okay so now that i'm all done painting the shoes now i'm using angelus's finisher on them or at least one of them um, I chose their more expensive one that I bought. I chose their four coat 
and I chose mine in high gloss since my rain boots were very, very glossy shiny when I got them. So I wanted them to be glossy shiny again when um, I'm all done with them. So um, I used the high gloss four coat, which was 1070 for a four ounce bottle. And um, to be honest, it went really far. Um, I did about four coats on it, I think. Um, maybe like three and a half. <laughs> I guess uh, you call that four coats, um, but you have to shake well before you use it. And then you kind of let the bubbles dissipate. And then you um, are just supposed to like paint it on or you can like rub it on with a cloth, it says. Um, but of course I have a million paint brushes, so I painted it on. Um, it was surprisingly thin. It felt like painting on water, which I was very surprised by, especially because I used the four coat. Um, so, uh, this is supposed to be the like, uh, sheet thick coat. Um, <laughs> cause it's supposed to be like, uh, four coats in one coat, so, uh, she should have been thick, but, uh, she felt like brushing on, on water. <laughs> and, um, this was a little challenging for me, uh, because, uh, cat hair runs rampant in my house, and, um, you can probably see me picking off stray hairs I find as I'm brushing on this coating, so, um, I'm surprised when I checked the shoes later that I didn't find hair crystallized inside like amber. Um, <laughs> but I didn't because I was very diligent and uh, I picked it off anytime I saw it. But I I am still surprised because it's it's a plague here. But um, it it seemed to have really worked very well, which I'm pleased by. I finally found something that worked, unlike that horrible, horrible spray, so my projects uh, will actually be preserved now. Uh, what an amazing thing. Uh, wondrous. Once again, and uh, you know, if you made it this far, uh, you know, maybe you could give it a little like, uh, maybe even subscribe, you know, get, get to watch me make some more cooler stuff in the future, um, you know, just a suggestion, you know, just get to see some pretty cool, pretty cool stuff, maybe see some of my other weird stuff that I do, you know. 
just, uh, just thought, you know, you could do it. I, I like it. Not that you don't have to, but I mean, you could do it. You could. I'm the, the button's right down there. You could do it. Just, you could. I could wait. So I went and I I did my field test and uh they're uh they're fine actually they're fine um the finisher worked uh it worked which uh you know what I was kind of stuck between thinking it would and thinking it wouldn't so um. I was like, I, th I think it'll be fine, cause, uh, well, mostly because it was really dry today. <laughs> it's been hot, so there was really nothing to get it too nasty. Um, but I did. I wore them out shopping. I wore them driving. Um, they were fine. Uh, there's no crackling. There's no cracking. There's no nastiness that there was. Um, with the, the teeth shoes that I made. Um, it really just feels nice and flexible. Um, they don't feel like they're going to crack or chip or anything. Um, I'm not going to pick at them with my nails because that just feels like asking for trouble. Um, but really they feel fine. They feel pretty protected. I even put some water on them. Uh, rubbed some cloth with some water on them to see if anything was going to smudge. Um, it was fine. Everything was fine. Um, everything felt okay. Um, I can see the coating on it literally. There's a little bit of kind of drippy, watery looking mess on the side where I didn't really take my time very well putting the coating on. But um, that's my fault. But you can't really see it unless you're looking for it. So it's like, mm, whatever. I'll, I'll get over it. Um, I just really wanted to get this project done, so I wasn't really careful putting the coating on. But again, the coating was pretty freaking watery, so... Mm, you know. You know. But, um... Yeah. Uh, they look pretty good. It's pretty good. Um... Their, their finishers. Yeah. I'm on the fence because I'm like... I guess just because I found out their deglazer was so obviously acetone. I'm just like now looking at this and I'm like... What chemical actually are you? <laughs> like what cheap thing actually are you? And like a expensive little... <laughs> bottle um because like this four ounce bottle i went and i checked on the website and it's actually 1070 so um this it's not really cheap like it went pretty far but it's not really cheap so and it's a it's a urethane clear coat so like i know a lot of things are made of urethane probably a lot from like the hardware store so maybe if I like really put my brain power into it like I could find like some kind of cheap really alternative but at the same time I'm like what am I willing to put to the flame to the fires to the gods to sacrifice to test for this and I'm just like I don't really know. I don't know. I mean, maybe I could research, but now I have this and like so little went such a long way and I've already spent the money. So it's just like, what is the point? What would be the point? I mean, if people personally asked me to, maybe I would, but at this point it's just like, there is none. There's no point. Um, 
So it's like, whatever, I've got it. And it works, so eh, they work. Um, it's a little bit on the expensive side, but it works, so... If you'd like to get some yourself, um, it's from angelusdirect.com. Um, I'll put it in the description in case anybody wants it. Uh, I mean, I made very cute little batty shoes. Um, yes, I do notice that, uh... This bat head here is much larger than this little one here. Um, it screams of pinky in the brain vibes. Um, okay. <laughs> Some of you out there remember pinky in the brain. Um, you know, I like it. Um, I like it. It's fine. I like that they don't match. Um, reminds me of pinky in the brain, which makes me smile. And then it reminds me of my cats because one is much bigger than the other. Um, this big one reminds me of Harley. This little one reminds me of Quinny. So, you know, it's fine when I wear them and they don't match. Um, it makes me smile. So, that's the excuse I'm coming up with. Because uh, <laughs> I didn't care enough when I was making them when I noticed to uh, stop and restart it. Because uh, it was just too much work. So, my mistakes get meanings. But, uh, I'm gonna call it a success, because now I got cute little pink albino bat shoes, and that seems to match me just fine, and I don't think they're gonna get destroyed. <laughs> Not this time! Okay, um, that's the end of the video, and, uh, hopefully I'll see y'all next time. Bye!